Let's start week six, Global MBA's learning. Responsible leadership. Week six topic is in addition to what we have learned, we continue to build up our knowledge in linking to stakeholder theory. So the syllabus we are capturing for this week's learning include stakeholder theory, social responsibility, social economic value, corporate social responsibility, and create shared value. Here we highlight again the session's objectives and the elemental theory we are going to capture and importantly, we're going to discuss the implications for responsible leadership. Here we go. Here we have questions and issues. We will start with ask. When we start to ask shareholder theory, what is it? Social economic values, what are they? And freedom and governments, what do we what do we mean or what do we refer to? Finally, corporate social responsibility, how do they imply, particularly for all responsible leadership? So let's carry on to move to the current research as we follow research generates knowledge ideas and we can linking theory to practice. So the current research organizations have recognized the relationship between Responsible leadership and ethical moral development of theory, social information processing theory, and conservation of resources, stakeholders, corporate social responsibility theory, and they have many leading scholars studying about these topics, including ourselves, as we try to develop a theory, develop a managerial approach. So this session is concerned with the contrasting, say, shareholders' view theory, Freeman's, and other scholars, and with the corporate social responsibility theory, Porter, Freeman's recently developed, and more importantly, how generally these theory attributed to the early work, the pioneer such as Milton Feldman, the Nobel Prize winner in economics. So we develop some debate, and we need to keep it in mind, as we already know, stakeholders are multiple players, including ourselves, like student, employee, lecturers within the university. The stakeholders have a multiple element, and more or less, research have studied this element. See, you can see this figure. And then we link stakeholder this element because every group have their expectation, interests, and how responsible leaders dress their interest at the meantime, not just serving one group, but a rather different group. Of course, nevertheless, we need to consider shareholders' value as well as shareholders invest money into the business, into the project, and they're certainly expecting some performance. However, when multiple groups in within the stakeholders group, they would have a different interest. And this interest expectation has a link consider future generations' interests, needs, so very challenging. And then we're going to discuss these challenging issues in the application for the theory. And particularly, we're going to develop a debate and we're going to discuss some issues beyond the COVID-19. We capture social implication, responsibility, uh, responsible leadership, shareholders theory, 
such as we can link to the current challenging uh, sustainability issues, carbon emission, climate change, socioeconomic inequality, unequal access to education, health uh, services, and domination of industry by fewer uh, powerful firms, and how the modern corporate should be managed that at the center of all learning and debate. Now let's have a look at the stakeholder theory. Well, we know there are sets of books, articles, uh, image framing uh, is one of the leads about the modern uh, stakeholder theory. And he actually writes, also writes the question, the such as the paradox. Yeah, the modern theory tried to resolve, but the challenge, the theory confront. And reviewing back the pioneer, the Nobel Prize winner, Friedman. So he, he his view at, at the time contributed such as the economy, growth, job. And recently, some scholars certainly valued his work and create a link. So they talk about the importance how corporation, say top management team need to take account of how decision affect the individual's freedom of stakeholders, because stakeholders, each group, they have their own expectation and how this could be included and in the consideration of the wider society and the natural environment. Certainly indeed, there are a lot to do and it's very challenging for us as well. So let's develop a little bit taste about this new uh, framework, the Nobel Prize failure. So we see uh, when at the time he said, say what is uh, social responsibility. The ability responsibility is responsible for business growth, economic growth, creating job and enable people living in a better quality, better standard uh, environment or society. So that's his early, uh, some of his early uh, this uh, theory in 1970s. So based on his 1970, that's a Nobel Prize with, uh, work based on recognize. Then from the socioeconomic view, Freeman, what here I'm talking is about is Freeman, it's not a field man. So in 1980s, he, he raised the issue, which is to say, well, business will only maximize profit over the long term, if it takes into account of social responsibility. So here we can see there is an issue rising, which is about sustainability and social responsibility. Okay. Then continue, we see the Carol's, uh, uh, her is a professor from the United States, so her concept, concept building on the corporate social responsibility pyramid which is to say, well, the fundamental, yes, certainly, we are responsible for economic growth, uh, growth making profit. You know, of course, uh, without the profit organization, uh, industry firm cannot exist, cannot be existing, and no job, we don't have an income to support family. And then, so see the pyramids, so build up. So now on the top, there is also discretionary responsibility, such as look after the community, look after the quality of life, contribute to human future sustainable resources, and do the donations that demonstrate philanthropies. So these are discretionary, but it is over ethical, social responsibility. Now let's move to next the recent development further say, well, we talk about value creation. Yes, we want to create value, but this value is not just business value, but also social value and future generations value. So here is, they are interrelated. So on the left hand side, we talk about business model, what and how. 
on the right hand side, when you think about for whom and whether we can sustain, so that here we say interrelated value creation. This recent publication, 2020, and I have recommended this article to you in the reading list. Eventually, we arrive at United Nations. So from their view, what is the value? The value has to consider sustainability, sustainability, future value, future value to consider the future generation. So that is, we do not just consider what we need today, but what other generation need in the future. And our need should not compromise the ability for future generations when they have the same need. So that's what we talk about future value. That's how we talk about sustainability. So then you would follow Put and Krima had a set of articles talk about shared value and shared corporate social responsibility. So organization, society, managers, leaders have to work together. We talk, we say that's collective action. Collective action. Everyone contributes to that. Not just concept, but we need to do it as we talk about action. So action supporting your mind, uh, your mind, the cognitive mental models, and we have a moral obligation. That's what we feel we want to do, we need to do. Okay. And I work on sustainability, such as environment, we are stewardship, demonstrate we are safeguard for the future generation, for the natural resources, and it's not just a piece of paper we are working on for lessons, but you rather community work together on shareholders and following rules, and that's enable business have a reputation. So this reputation is not just the based on what we thought, but rather, you know, where the brand image coming from, that's the honored to the ethical practice. So it's a set of action we need to work on. And also mental models, recognition, a realization, motivation, intrinsic motivation, etc. So that government governance would imply and how we develop the strategy to all the future growth, so that the set of uh, measures, functions, aims, objectives that the organization need to work on. This is recommended by Christmas It Was 2017's article. So the concept of governments, concept of working on is sustainability and responsible leadership. So here we have this tutorial activity in following that. We will develop a discussion for the four questions. And I have recommended the set of uh, uh, indicated reading. Thank you uh, for this uh, uh, these, uh,